I think for a lot of us, this marriage has, has felt inevitable. Uh, as inevitable as the sun setting behind these mountains in a few hours, almost like a law of nature, uh, like the, the moon pushing the tides. Um, but that said, and even acknowledging that perhaps it's been a long time coming, uh, that fact does not diminish the power of this moment, nor the strength of this relationship. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> For a while, I was pretty jealous of. It's pretty jealous because Danny's my best friend. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like. <laughs> but I'm fortunate to call you two my best friends. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for loving my brother, my family, and me, no matter how hard it can get sometimes. Thank you, Danny, for bringing Sarah into my life because I finally got the sister I wanted. Thank you guys for teaching me what it means not only to be in a loving relationship, but also how to grow both individually and together. Lastly, I'd like to thank both of you for giving me a false se sense of hope and allowing me to think I'd find true love in eighth grade. <laughs> I truly believe these two knew from the very start that someday they would be celebrating their very own marriage. And here we are today, 12 years later, on September 19th, 2020, doing just that. As Sarah's dad, it has been great to witness their relationship grow and develop. As someone reminded me the other day, I'm finally getting a son. Well, yes, I am, and a great one at that. Welcome everyone. Um, please, please be seated. Get comfortable. Give me your Get warm. And show me your weakness. I don't know. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. There's a part of me that can't believe that we're standing here right now, but there's a bigger part of me that isn't surprised at all. Every day I ask you, are you real? Because I think I'm imagining you. That it's not possible you've been my person for all these years. You reply, yeah, I think I am. <laughs> and I pinch myself constantly that I'm lucky enough to feel this sense of disbelief. I've loved you every day for 12 years. We grew up together, not many people can say that. Our love started small and it grew stronger as we grew. We face challenges together and we've challenged one another. We've celebrated together and we've endured disappointments together. I love your compassion to others. I love your endless energy. I love your loyalty to family and friends. As we continue to grow through life together, there will be more challenges and more celebrations. I promise to always put us and our family first, to put my love for you at the forefront of every day to lean on you and to support you. I promise to always make decisions as a team, to have long conversations in the car on a late night drive, 
Together we can do anything. You are the one. You're my only one. Have been, always will be. I love you. Give me your strength. Show me your weakness. Cause we're in this together now. Sarah, for more than a decade, I've looked into those beautiful hazel eyes and known you're the one. I lose my breath whenever I see you. Over all these years, we've been each other's best friends and have looked forward to this day. My life was great till you added colors. Through the time together, I've always been able to depend on you to enrich our lives and the lives of all the people you touch. I promise to give you as much love as you give. I love that you enhance our lives with adventure and spontaneous experiences. I'll continue to surprise you and make each day exciting. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be I love the joy you show with the simplest pleasures, whether it's a Lake Champlain sunset or hiking up into the meadow. Let's never forget the little things in life's smalls. I'll be by your side as we navigate life, whether it's CT, VT, or whatever path Sky decides we take. I can't think of a better partner for our future family. I can't wait until we can share our love of skiing, adventuring, and HGTV nights in. Um, and you can always count on me to support you in our dreams. I love you, Sarah McHugh Duffy, my forever love. <laughs> I just want to make one quick note about the ring that Danny's going to be wearing. Um, this comes from his grandfather. So one more testament to family. Oh, here's that. That's all. I'll do this. Sorry. We got it. All right, well, by the, the power vested in me by the internet, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you. Kiss the bride. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Oh. Let my world on fire. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I asked Danny, he said, you know, I need two, two years notice. And during that same conversation, uh, he, he was, said, you know, that's your two years notice and ran out the, ran out the house. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to explain how special Sarah is. But the fact that she stuck around <laughs> through, through the craziness this long. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's raise a glass. To Danny and Sarah, if you two keep supporting each other and surprising each other like you have been for the past decade, then I'm, I'm certain that you'll have a lifetime of happiness together, and I'm confident that the best is yet to come. I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs>